Hey everyone, this is Jason Snook with Quorum. Today I'm going to go over a quick overview and then jump right into a product demo. Now, at Quorum, we can provide instant recovery for any physical or virtual machine from any hypervisor, whether it's located on-prem or it's co-located or it's in a public cloud. You can instantly recover servers, you can perform file level restores, you can perform long-term archiving, and you can always use this as a test dev platform. All right, let's jump into a demo. I'm going to fail a server. We'll see what it looks like to resurrect it with Quorum. So first off, you'll notice that our dashboard is all IP-based. There's no software to install to manage the solution. If there are problems, we're going to show it to you. Red means bad. Orange means warning. Now, all of your servers are shown as a server card. Now, PN is your local server. We do a heartbeat to it. HA is the local Quorum box. DR is the remote box or the Quorum private cloud. Now, I'm going to pick on this CRM server, and I'm going to fail it. So first off, let me log into it. Now, this is a standard web-based application server. Now, give me one second. I'm going to turn it off in the background, and we'll see what it looks like. Now, with the server off, I'm going to reset the page, or I'm going to refresh the page. I'm going to go back to the Quorum dashboard, and what I see now is that same CRM server. We've lost the heartbeat. So once that heartbeat is down, we show the icon as red. Now, you have the choice. You can boot up a clone of the server on the Quorum appliance that's local. Click on the red button, click on Start Production. Now you get to choose where you want to boot that server from. You can either do Most Recent or you can roll it back in time. Now the way that you do this is very simple. Click on the Most Recent, for example. Click on Proceed. I'm going to show you a timer up at the top of the screen. And we're going to take a look to see how long it takes to fully resurrect this server. While that server boots up in the background, I want to show you how that you can use the Quorum solution as a test dev platform. At any time, you can boot up any clone of your server onto a completely segmented test network, either on the local side or on the DR side. This allows you to test service packs and changes without impacting production. Now, we can also change the default view to a top-down list approach. Now, by default, it's going to show us everything that's in critical at the top, everything with a warning down below, and then green all underneath that. Now we have something called server tags. Server tags allows us to logically group servers based on their application group. So in this case, I can sort and I can show all my domain controllers together, all my exchange servers together. I can even show regional, so I can show our PAC Northwest servers versus our Southern California servers all under one view. Now at any time, you can select a tag and you can start them all together. Let's go ahead and take a look at reporting and analytics. Click on the Analytics button. Now, the default view is to show you common stats like backup status, self-test status, how much disk usage. We can also look at the actual backup size. This is the post-deduplicated snapshot size of each of your servers. We can look at a graph of the total data protected. This is going to help you understand how much data is in your environment and how much is growing. Same thing with backup duration, snapshot size. We can look at backup trends. We could find out if there's a uh, abnormal backup in the in the chain. Um, we can also look at user percent change. Now this is very valuable to find out if something uh, unusual happened in your environment like ransomware. You can find out the peak um, change versus the mean change. Now any one of these reporting tools can be exported. You can print them, but more importantly you can export them to high charts. Now high charts is an HTML5 web part. You can import this web part, this particular chart, into any third-party reporting tool. Now, I want to jump back to the dashboard, and I want to make sure that we go back to the server card view. Okay, so we'll click this button. We're going to look at our servers, and we're going to take a look to see how our, our recovery is doing for the CRM server. Now, we see that the CRM server, the heartbeat is back up, and we see now we've changed the icon for the HA to blue, and we show you that it's running in production. So the CRM server is back up and running now. Okay, now I'm going to jump back to the application of the CRM server. I'm going to refresh the page to show that the CRM server is in fact working. This is a user transparent fix. The guys out in the field have no idea that you're now running on Quorum. They just know that the CRM server is back online. That's as fast and that's as easy as it is to fail over using Quorum. Now back to our dashboard. Again, we see that the CRM server, the heartbeat is up. We continue to back up the server even though it's running on the Quorum appliance. This is part of our design. Now what's next? You can always contact us to see a more thorough product demo or call us or email us to do a product trial. Thank you very much for your time. Again, check us out online, quorum.com.